Saddle up! bike patrols or, or bicycles with our community police officers for several years. So they'll, you'll see them riding up and down the roadways in the communities. Most of them have bike racks, so they do have cars. There are certain times and places and opportunities for them to take the bicycles out and patrol, not only just to, to be seen and have the opportunity to interact with the residents, but we truly do um, send them into areas where we are seeing an increase in crime. We recently increased the number of bikes that we have in the department uh, within the last several months, and we uh, almost doubled the size of the capability we have for bike patrols. And that was intended to go out not only in the daytime, but also we're going out at night as well. And we're going to areas where we're getting reports of uh, things taking place. And the officers with bicycles can roll into neighborhoods, communities, and parks, business shopping centers and um, often can do so without being seen or heard and it's, a, it's an effective tool for whether you're responding to a call or just getting out there and, and being proactive with some type of activity or problem area that's occurring in the city. I think it's a great tool, a great asset for the city. Um, it encourages and fosters engagement with the community. Um, our officers get an opportunity to come out of the cars and, and really get a chance to touch and feel the residents. And when residents touch and feel their officers, then relationships and bonds form, you know, and because um, we all want a safe community and when we all work together through those strong relationships and just the community feel, you know, we look out for each other and, um, and we let, you know, those who would uh, think to do harm in the community knows that we are a strong community and there's a partnership with the residents and our police force and I think the bike unit is an excellent asset that we can use to be visible in the community so that our officers can interface with our residents. I'm well aware that they're around. Uh, they make themselves very visible. But I'm home during the day, like they said, you know, most of the people are at work early morning to evening, so they're gone. But we try and make them aware that they're protected while they're at work. It's nice to have them around, you know, and we see that the crime in the area is decreasing. And it's always good to have them around, make you feel safe. It's nice for them being on a bicycle because um, guys running through the gully and through back of homes, cars can't make it there. The presence of them on a the bicycle helps a lot in the, in the community and I think people feel, feel safer. Patrol officers on the bicycle is quite uh, important for our community, especially for this community. Years ago, um, we had a lot of problem in our neighborhood, but thanks to uh, Chief Black, uh, we began to uh, clean up our neighborhood and uh, a great job. Now crime is down. Crime is down. And it feels safe, I can tell you that. Politicians are realizing that they have to be with the people, us, because we are the ones that put them in office. So I guess they're just, real, they're real life. I don't, maybe they know, but they're doing the actual thing now. So it feels good to see that. They're not taking us for granted. Yes, it feels good. I am happy about that. Local residents saying the uh, commissioner riding, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. It really is. That's a great, fantastic, uh, fantastic news and a great idea to have the commissioner around doing a bike patrol. It just shows that you know you're part of the community and you're help, you're helpful towards, 
you know, improving the community, Miramar, and overall, this is a great thing for the community. I'm just very pleased that Commissioner Messam and his willingness to come out and learn a little bit about our community police officers, what they do, who they are, and to learn about the effectiveness of our bike patrols, which are so, so good for the community interaction with the officers, and it's an effective tool for us for targeting uh, crime hotspots throughout the city. And for him to take the time to come out, not only just with the officers, but you'll also notice there are a lot of uh, several residents that actually have been joining us or and business owners that we've stopped to speak with. Um, I think everybody I've seen out here today knows, every, knows the officers. Um, they're no strangers to them. They know them on their first name uh, basis. And that's because our officers are out here and they're patrolling and they're, they're building partnerships and relationships in the community. For me, this is an event. Having a bike patrol, they have always been in our neighborhood, but to have commissioner, chief, and my backup, what more could I ask for? <laughs> always boast of the fact that we are in the center of everything and exactly what we are. We are trendsetters and, um, you know, it is important to have this sort of relationship with our police. And we know that when I am particularly keen on the part that the police plays in our children's life. Um, we are the only city, as far as I know, that has a resource officer in every um, elementary school in this city. And it speaks well for the future. It also speaks well for the fact that if we can prevent um, if we can get our children to have the right relationship with themselves and with the police officers, we won't have to be tracing them down later. It was great to meet him actually in person. This was my first time meeting him. And it's great to have him out with us and, you know, be close with the community and, you know, on the bicycles and, you know, when people are outside, being able to greet them and have conversations with them in a way that we can't really do so in, in our vehicles. Um, we're able to see things firsthand in a different way also than just being in our cars driving around. The experience is, is great because, you know, when you're driving around in a neighborhood in a car, you're in the confines of your automobile. You don't necessarily feel the elements. So um, as many residents know, I'm an avid jogger and runner. So when I'm running in communities, I get a chance to meet residents. And it's, it's a similar feel when you're on the bike. Because when you're on the bike, um, you know, you can ride up to a door, ride up to a neighbor who may be gardening or uh, tending to their yard to say hello. And, and that's one of the great aspects for our police department when they are on their bikes because they can be riding along the street. A neighbor can be, a resident can be in their yard and they can stop by just to say hello. And, and then they can just get a face with the name. And, and then they know if they see something, you know, suspicious in the neighborhood, they know who their neighborhood patrollers are and they can give them a call. And it's just a great a great opportunity and it's a great asset and I'm glad that we have it here in the city. Like any other piece of equipment that we issue to our officers, uh, a bicycle comes with certain other um, uh, variables you have to learn uh, how to go out and do your jobs. Uh, the officers as opposed to just getting on a bike and, and leisure riding or mountain biking, they're wearing a lot of equipment. It makes us more top heavy. So, and then of course, they're actually doing police work and doing law enforcement, providing law enforcement services. We start with the basics and the fundamentals of learning the bike. And then as far as uh, the different parts of the bike, how to change tires, things like that. And then we go into the basics on how to ride the bike and um, patrol functions as well. Um, we, do, we have an advanced course where we also do shooting and tactical operations on the bike and go out to some trails to do some trail riding. It's a great deal to have our Miramar police officers out here and visible so that the residents and the business owners are able to see them. 
uh, they're able to see uh, one on one as to uh, the area and what's happening in the neighborhood. So I think it's a great deal. And I hope that we continue this and to have many, many more uh, officers on the bicycles. I've been a part of the community unit and uh, biked in the city for about the last seven or eight years. And uh, it does, as previously mentioned, give you a, a different perspective. You see things at a different level than being in a car. And uh, it's exhilarating, it's fun, and it keeps the job enjoyable after all these years. Today's been a great learning experience just to um, walk, a, I guess, a day in a life in the, uh, with the officers. Um, they are on the front lines and deal and confront with a lot of issues that um, happen in our city. And um, as a commissioner, definitely very appreciative of the service that they give to our community. Um, I just encourage um, um, our police department just to continue to look at innovative ways to provide public safety.